Hey dudes and dudettes, it's Simon Hurley and welcome to another video and welcome to my temporary craft space. I've talked about this for a while, we just moved houses and in the basement here we are actually building a craft room in the unfinished part of the basement and that's going to be done in about two or three months but we needed another craft space in the meantime. So we've created a little temporary craft space in the basement as well and I wanted to walk you guys through this space and some of my favorite things for organization. Now I've done lots of videos in the past on my craft rooms and things like that and I've given lots of tours. I wanted to reshare even though a lot of the furniture is the same and a lot of the storage systems are the same. I just thought it would give you guys a good idea on what I really source down to to the products that I actually need and use on a daily basis. Through this move I really found that I didn't use a ton of stuff so I got to get rid of a lot of the supplies and then a lot of them are also just waiting in boxes in the other room to be unpacked when we get back into the larger craft room. So without further ado let's take a look at my craft space. Alright guys, so let me walk you through kind of my little filming setup and my desk and what we really did to maximize the space. So we actually put down a carpet and if you guys work with inks or alcohol inks a lot or something that could stain, this is a really good idea to protect your floor. And I think in the new space we'll be working on hardwood, but definitely protect your flooring if you are on carpeting. Uh, I'm going to show you guys my desk as well. This desk is from Clearview, it's one of my favorites, but I recommend going to Ikea or places like that for desks as well. I love their Alex drawer units and those are super helpful. Now this is a laminate surface desktop. I actually apply my inks directly to this surface and you guys have probably seen it in a lot of videos. However, just for videos, this looks a lot nicer and there's no glare, but I wouldn't recommend, you know, doing it right on your table or a laminate surface at home. Definitely lay down a craft sheet. Here is a monitor that hooks up to my top camera, and that is allows me to see exactly what I'm doing, which is really nice. I have my paper trimmer. This is my absolute favorite paper trimmer from Tonic and Tim Holtz. I use it every day, and a lot of people ask me what this yellow sheet is. Um, this piece of tape actually marks where I cut my cardstock for top folding cards, since I do that really often. So I keep this sitting on my desk for cutting cardstock. You guys have probably seen what's in my top drawer before, but I really reorganized it and got rid of a lot of the stuff that I didn't use. So I just have my tape runners, um, adhesives, scissors, um, bone folders, and my favorite ink in this first unit. This is a Boone organizer. I originally saw it from Jennifer McGuire, but the reason why I love it so, so much is because it has all of these different compartments to put things in, and it's a really great storage unit for a lot of different things. It also has a tilted base, so you'll notice everything's pointed directly at me, which I really like. So I like having this in the drawer next to me for my most used supplies. Then, you guys know if you've seen my last craft room tours or anything, I love clear bins to separate out drawers. You can get them from TJ Maxx, and I'll link a few of my favorites online as well. Um, and this is where I keep my like water sprayer, some stamp cleaners, all my favorite adhesives, whether it's tape or um, like liquid adhesives. And then I keep top folding already folded card bases here, and I definitely need to restock that with my Stark White card stock. Then I have my um, pre-cut Stark White cardstock in 4 and 1 fourth by 5 and a half. And this is a tip that I learned from, again, Jennifer McGuire to pre-cut your cardstock because it saves so much time while you're crafting. Then I have my favorite acrylic blocks here, rulers and things like that. And I have some watercolor cardstock already cut down as well for my cards. Alright, so that's what's in the first drawer. Now in the second drawer, I keep my ink pads. So these are my Simon Hurley Create ink pads. They're in a Stampin' storage unit. This is actually a unit for distress inks. I believe they now make a unit for um, like the slim ink pads just like these. But the reason I like this one is because it has a stopper down there and it's actually smaller than my ink pads. So what that means is if you go at this angle, which is usually the angle that I sit on, you can kind of see those colors of the ink pads, which I really find to be useful. And then this one is made for re-inkers and markers, but I keep in here different blending tools and the mini blending tools, and I find that, that to be super helpful. I keep a blending tool for every single color just because I use these on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's really helpful for me. But of course, you could definitely put re-inkers and stuff like that in here. I just love these stamp and storage units because they're really nice solid wood, which is super nice. You know it's going to last for a long time, um, and they can also be hung on the wall too, which is really great. 
Now in here I also keep my most used embossing powders in large containers. So I have Rangers clear and white embossing powder right in there and I use that all the time so I keep those on hand as well. I don't think there's anything down here. I just have a uh, clear plastic unit in case if I want to add something. It's just my first week being here, so I haven't, you know, used up the full space. This chair, I just got a new desk chair because my last one broke. It was on its last leg. This one's from Target, and it's got like woven faux leather in here. I really like it. It's a countertop stool. Um, I just like how it looks, so <laughs> wanted to show that. This side, I have a different storage unit in here. This is another clear plastic bin. I think you guys can see it from down there, but this one has little dividers in it like this. You can buy these dividers separately. This bin is from Tonic Studios, and my favorite thing about it is just that it can be sectioned off like that. So I love this for my stamps, background stamps, stencils and everything from the Simon Hurley create line really fits in here which is super nice now the reason I like it is because my last bins I struggled to store my 6x9 or 6x8 stamp sets in it um, because they were a little too big but in this one you can really store all of your supplies and I love those little dividers so you can divide off bins and get them really organized and then of course I keep my fall release here um, so I can start crafting with that one really easily without having to dig through the bin and then down here, it's not really a great use of space for now, but I just have my most used supplies like Misty, um, foam tape, and score tool, which again is in a huge drawer, but I haven't found out what to put in there quite yet. All right, and then we'll go right behind me. And here I have a marker unit. This one is again from Stampin' Storage. I love these, so this is two units just right next to each other. And I like that these are tilted and they store your markers so you can really easily see them. In the past I had them in that bottom drawer that I just showed you, but I like to keep them out because they're nice and colorful. So at least in this setup, they're going to be sitting out on my countertop. I have my favorite Gina K envelopes next to it, and then here I have a paper unit. This is again one of my favorites. I showed it in one of my favorite storage unit videos, just because it keeps the paper right on hand, easily visible, and also in the past I had them up and down in magazine holders, and that really makes it kind of warped. So this just makes sure that when you pull out your piece of paper, it's going to stay nice and flat, so I can store paper in here for as long as I want, and I know it's not going to get damaged. And I also keep scraps and things like that in here. I like that too because I know exactly where they are, they're not in a separate drawer, and that makes me more likely to use them. And then I also keep like the black cardstock, white cardstock, and watercolor cardstock in there because I use those super often and need to have those on hand. And then of course I have my trash can. I've already talked about this in past videos as well. It's a Rubbermaid trash can, but I love that it has a um, um, lid on it so I can easily close it up and not have to see what's inside of it so it looks really nice. And also it stores a lot of trash, which I find to be super, super helpful. One last tip I wanted to share is I put my camera on the ceiling. Um, not everybody has a camera though, but I did want to share that I replaced my bulbs with daylight bulbs, LEDs, and same with the recessed cans on the ceiling. They are all daylight LED bulbs. I really recommend replacing all of your bulbs with daylight LED bulbs. For crafting, it makes it super nice and easy. You get a nice white, bright light that is very natural instead of any yellow cast that might be in other bulbs. So that makes it so you can see your white cardstock perfectly and you can see all of the colors very true to how they actually are. So that's my favorite kind of light for crafting and I hope that tip helps if you're making a craft space at home and you're struggling with lighting. I'll also link a video in the top right corner that I did sharing my favorite organization supplies and a lot of them you saw in today's video but you'll see them a lot more in depth in that video like the paper storage unit, the unit for my stamps and stencils and lots of things like that just a little bit closer in depth if you're thinking about purchasing them and want to see them closer. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be in this space together for the next two to three months. I'm really excited to get crafting, finally excited to have a craft room again so I can get back to making videos for all of you. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite part of the craft space or what you love to organize if you have any tips to give me. Be sure to click that subscribe button down below if you want to join the family and never miss another video like this one. And also, I have a phone number now, so text me at the number on the screen for deals, chatting one-on-one, -on -one, and also new video alerts. Alright guys, I'll see you very, very soon for another card making and crafting video. Have a great day. Bye!